The doctor has more or less confirmed that she is a special children. We find uh, ways to try to bring her and the best to bring her up. Her name is Koricho. I, I am 24 years old. I have two brothers. I stay with my parents. Even my, my husband, but he, for a start, he, 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 he even don't believe it, is he? He thought he's... He couldn't believe that she is special in a way, is he? My father bought me a handphone. This is my best friend, Shana. And this is my mother handphone. I love my father very much. It's very painful in my heart, is it? <laughs> so I try not to think so much about it, you see. Think of the positive side. Now we have this special center. You can send her there. So she can mix around. It started with uh, for fun, eh? Later on. In the this uh, pipa kids there, they have this bowling session. July 2007, I joined the Vision Olympic bowling competition. I won a goal in single event, silver at a team event, and fourth place at a double event. I don't see. I mean, many people have a chance to go. To participate in this style of Special Olympic, even though there are many, but not everybody is selected today. I have a lot of friends. We cannot think of the, the worst part. Really. There are good parts too. Really. People kids just make a difference to our life, and I feel my burden is some of my burden is lifted up. Really. And it's shared by me and people kids. Really. When Jawad came in when she was very young, at the age of nine, so she attend her sensory work, especially the masters. She come every day. <laughs> These balance boards, when they are laying down, they are turning side to side. So that is to build her stibular side. One of the year we have our special Olympic. So she's participate in the walking event. So when she almost complete her event, she went out from the field to go to the toilet and then everybody laughed and screamed at her, don't stop, continue y'all. Whoop, she screamed, I want to go to the toilet. <laughs> so at the end, 
she was disqualified, you see. When everybody received the trophy, she said, why not? I didn't have my trophy, she cried. So that is the funny thing what Jawad did. Yvonne came into our center by the age of 14. During her age 14, she could not speak. What she can call is only mama and she crying. Whatever she need, she only cry. Whether it was pain or happy, her sign is crying only. We put her into our nursery class. In the nursery class, we teach her to read with the flashcard. So in her words, she can pronounce the words and then she can talk with the word. She learn the words. In the Special Olympics, we are using the mother to attract her to run fast and then target the straight route. But we had to catch hold on her when the starter opened the gun, start, start to run, then she ran off to target the mother who is in front of the ending point. She will run without looking at the back. She's the first one who reached down while the friend's still behind. My name is Atokok, I'm 33 years old. I've been in PDK for six years. Atokok come into our center is to apply job as a clerk in the office. So we did try him to work in the office, tapping the letters. When we found out that he cannot work, we put him into the vocational. So in the vocational side, he learned to do all the artwork, make a bookmark and the cards with the dry leaf. Before I've been to Pibakis, I usually live at home. Mm. Now in Pibakis, I have a lot of friends like Eric, Rongchang, uh, Aida, James. He's different other, so now he can do a lot of work. I learn. Uh, from teachers how to uh, typing. Uh, now my typing is improved a bit. Yeah. He also can sing very well and then he can dance. He also can do the basket and he also can do very well in the drawing. So he's very happy. He always miss his friend if he's sick. Pipa Kiss is growing. We started as a parent supporting group with uh, 10 children and two workers in 1991. We are running out of space for the children. We have been planning for a new building since 2005. The new building will include additional facilities like uh, therapy pool, other facilities which currently we don't have it. So to cater for the need for the children, the proposed new building costs about 2.5 million. Currently, we have a fair bit of sum of money, but we still need uh, public support to, to raise this fund for the building. I'm Joshua Father. Joshua is suffering from cerebral palsy. So he, his future is very bleak. In, in the early days, he used to stay at home, doing nothing, isolating himself. But when we found this Pepakis, a center where he can improve himself, so we sent him to this center. And after having this his session here, doing physiotherapy and occupational therapy here, he improved a lot. So I believe that this is the right place for him because, as you know, God created us with a purpose. And Joshua has found his purpose in life. So I encourage all of us, if we have any special child, Pidakis is the right place where they can find love and encouragement to face life.
Pippa Kids is run by dedicated parents from various races, religions, and backgrounds. We have united together in hope to give our special children special care to live a normal life. You can be a volunteer. You can sponsor a child. Anda boleh mana-mana. 